honestly every single morning that first sip doesn't matter how many times i have my cup of coffee it still gives me just as much joy when i first start drinking it but good morning everyone we are looking slightly different from when i last saw you in my sundresses wearing my sun hats had my sunglasses off my little summer sandals we're now in chunky knits full on winter gear again we have come home too freezing cold miserable weather like honestly we came back last night we were shivering i have whacked the heating up today because i'm so not used to this cold weather you think that only four days away wouldn't like you wouldn't acclimatize to the warm weather but it has been such a shock to come back to the rain the gray skies and the freezing cold weather my goodness me but hello we are back home we are here i must admit i do love coming home after a holiday it doesn't matter how long i've been away how much of an amazing time i had like what the hotel was like the accommodation whatever no matter what i love coming home i love coming back to our own space being back in hampshire because i do feel like that is just it's where my heart belongs it really really is and i do love walking into our house and just being like oh, it's just home although it was a late night when we walked in the other night. So I actually took yesterday off from vlogging um, because we didn't actually get until gone midnight, which is way past my bedtime. You guys will know I'm usually in bed by about half nine, latest 10. Like half nine is my happy spot to be in bed. 10 o'clock is like, that's pushing it. So to have gotten into bed past midnight was a very, very late one. And then I was actually up first thing yesterday morning because I had a really big campaign that I needed to shoot um, and I needed to get up early wash my hair get prepped for it um and head to do my campaign so i thought you know what i am not going to have the mental capacity to be able to do the campaign and vlog and everything else so i thought i'll just i'll take the day off from vlogging and let myself recuperate after shooting the big campaign but it went really really well so hopefully you will see that on my instagram soon i also went to go and get my nails done yesterday because you would have seen in my last vlog they were so outgrown this little pinky had broken so badly she literally couldn't even cut it anymore my poor nail lady kept being like i'm really hoping i'm not hurting i really hope i'm not hurting you um but they are nice and short again i have gone for satin pajamas again on my nails because they are just it's just my favorite favorite shade the perfect little like early spring shade we're gonna be manifesting the spring weather because i swear this time last year when we were in march i'm sorry this is such a British thing to talk about and we always compare the years as well we'll be like this time last year but this time last year we were really starting to get excited about spring we were ditching a lot of the layers it was sunny it was quite bright or maybe that was more towards like mid-march but i swear to god it's not normally this cold as soon as we hit the third month of the year like for me march is spring i know technically british springtime doesn't come until the 21st which i think is when the clocks change um but for me as soon as we hit the first of march i'm like yep i'm ready for spring i'm ready for sunshine i'm ready for the new season as you would have seen from all of the vlogs i feel like it becomes a drinking game every time i say the word spring take a shot and you will be absolutely hammered within literally two vlogs um but yeah it's really really nice to be home back in our own home and back in our own space i have a few things i need to unbox with you actually a couple of bits that arrived whilst we were away but it really was just the most amazing break like as i said i think multiple multiple times we really needed that break really really needed it just four days in the sunshine eating drinking relaxing and just watching the world go by i feel like you can just let the day slip so like easily and just so seamlessly when you're in a gorgeous hot country like that like you just let the hours melt away and it's my favorite favorite thing so it's such a lovely way to spend the beginning of spring but it is always nice to be home oh my god one big update to tell you though i did have a little bit of a nightmare with regards to travel yesterday i don't know if you're going to be able to tell i'm really hoping that the quality isn't going to be any different i'm not sure if you can see them right here but I am currently using my old camera to vlog with. We are currently being held together by literal elastic bands, which obviously is not ideal by a long shot. Um, so I decided to utilize my time on the flight. You guys know what I'm like, I'm really not the kind of person that just likes sitting around doing nothing. I always love to be doing something productive and like making sure that I'm making the most of my time. So I thought, well, four hours on a plane, let's get to editing the vlog and i always like editing the vlog on the flight on the way home because it's kind of just a little way to like reminisce on the journey and like look back at the holiday and think about what a lovely lovely time we had and i always just feel such gratitude whenever i edit and watch back my vlogs um especially my travel vlogs so yeah got my camera out took the memory card to edit um 
edited the entire vlog that you would have seen on Tuesday because I really wanted to do a quick turnaround for that because I feel like there's nothing worse than when you're waiting for like weeks on end for the vlog to go live. Um, so yes, so edited that, all good. And then I don't know what happened to my camera. In my head, I obviously put it straight back in my bag, straight back in my Longchamp La Pliage, and that was that. But this morning, I went to go and grab my camera out of my bag, and it was long gone. I don't know where it is. I've literally tipped the whole house upside down, looked in my suitcase, looked in my bag, even looked in like the back of the car in case it fell out in the car. It has disappeared. What I think might have happened was it just fell out of my bag when I was maybe like picking it up to take it off the flight. Um, maybe it fell under the seat and rolled down because i always do like look back double check i've got everything like it definitely wasn't left on the seat or anything like that so i think it must have just fallen out because i always have my bag when i'm open on the flight so i like to be able to take my water out and obviously i was like bringing my laptop in and out of the bag and things like that so i think it must have gotten knocked maybe rolled a couple of seats back and it has now disappeared which i am so so gutted about thank goodness I'd edited the entirety of the vlog and thank goodness there wasn't a lot of footage on that. I'd put a new memory card in just before we went. One of my first concerns was um, obviously there's a memory card full of unedited videos of me and I was racking my brain for like, have I done any reels? Because whenever I film my reels, I'm walking about the entire room, like I just keep the camera rolling. I'm changing in front of the camera, not having to like worry about it. Um, Cause obviously I'm the only one that ever edits and sees these things. So suddenly panicking like, oh my goodness, is there gonna be unedited? footage of me that like someone could potentially have thank goodness i only just replaced the card before we went away so i don't think there's any kind of like um in terms of unedited footage it's just me like messing up the vlog or whatever or like you know restarting as i'm filming and things like that so um it's not the end of the world but it does mean that i am one camera down which is really really sad i feel like in my three years of vlogging i'm not done too bad to only have gone through two cameras so far one broke one i lost so Let's hope we don't make it a hat trick. The new one should be arriving today. I ordered it yesterday on Amazon Prime, so that should be coming today. But in the meantime, I'm having to use this one. Um, but it's one of those things where you just get so cross at yourself because it's like such an easy thing to do, but obviously costing me a lot of money to have to go and buy a new camera. And it's just a bit of a nuisance. Like it's one of those things, one of those expenses didn't exactly need to be spending on. So a little bit annoying, but I'm trying not to beat myself up about it or get annoyed about it at all because... It's just one of those things, isn't it? Um, but yeah, as I said, such an amazing holiday. I'm not gonna let that ruin it. I really, really loved Gran Canaria. I've obviously done three Canary Islands now and I've vlogged all of them, so actually, so you can probably go back and watch them, see how much my vlogging style has changed. Actually, I kind of don't want you to go back and watch that Lanzarote one because that was when I just started vlogging, just started getting into it and I was still very rusty, wasn't really confident in front of the camera, um, and it's probably very embarrassing to go back and watch. Um, but yeah, we did Tenerife last year, I did that as a girl's trip, and then I did Lanzarote on a press trip. And I have to say, I actually think Gran Canaria has been my favorite island to visit. It just feels a little bit more upmarket, and I definitely notice a big difference in the hospitality with like the staff, with just like, you know, shop people and restaurant people, and just, they seem a lot friendly and a lot like, more excited about you being there. That was the one thing I didn't like about Tenerife is I did find that the kind of hospitality just wasn't really there. Like it kind of felt like with regards to even like the hotel staff, they could kind of take or leave your existence. Um, whereas at the Rui Oasis, they literally could not do enough to help you out. Um, all of the restaurant staff were so lovely, the bar staff, like we just had such a wonderful time. So I would definitely say the out of the three Canary Islands, if you are looking to book a bit of like an early spring getaway, now's obviously the perfect time to go because it's so close to the equator. It's pretty much constant temperature, constant kind of like sunshine between like 25 and 28 degrees. So it's really, really lovely to go and visit. So I would definitely recommend a trip to Gran Canaria. Let me know if you want any other like tips or advice, if you have any questions. I wonder if I should do maybe a Q&A over on my stories. I might have already done that by the time this vlog goes live. So um, if I do make sure to go and check it out, I will leave it in my Grand Canary highlights just so that you can see everything from the trip. But um, yeah, until the new camera arrives, we are currently vlogging on an elastic band. So I'm really, really hoping that the quality is still okay and you're not gonna be able to tell a difference. Okay, so I've just come in here because as I mentioned, I had a couple of very, very lovely PR deliveries arrive whilst I was away, which is always so nice to come back to. So I thought we could unbox them 
together. Now this I'm very, very excited about is a new delivery from Batiste. Now you guys know how much of a fan I am of Batiste. I mean, I had such small like luggage allowance. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know why we decided to just do hand luggage because just the stress of packing was a lot, but actually, I felt like I nailed it. Like I felt like I had everything I needed. Like there wasn't massive things. I was like, oh, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. And like having stripped back skincare, having stripped back, um, you know, outfits and things like that meant that I was a lot more, like I just wore what I had to wear, you know what I mean? Um, but even though I had very, very limited allowance, one thing that I cannot not bring with me on holiday is a little mini bottle of Batiste. Now this is a new innovation from Batiste. It is their leave-in dry conditioners. Oh, so it's not a dry shampoo because in between washes isn't just about clean, it's about caring and styling too. The inventors of the dry shampoo category, Batiste, are shaking up the hair care industry in 2023 with their game changing leave in dry conditioner that will take your day two hair to the new level. The Batiste leave in dry conditioner, which contains aloe vera and conditioning agents, is designed to quickly soften and detangle the hair lengths in between washes as well as leaving a smooth shine. Oh my goodness me, that sounds absolutely amazing so it kind of sounds like it's really really similar to their um their dry shampoo but oh my gosh it's like a mousse so it says here shake spray apply and ta-da oh my god i'm so intrigued to try these so we've got um the original scent in this kind of like greeny bottle and then we've got the pink here these lids do not really want to stay on the pink in blush which sounds like a really really lovely one i won't lie i do have day two hair now so i'm kind of tempted just to give it a little bit of a try <gasps> Oh my god, that scared the bejeebas out of me. Oh, that smells absolutely incredible. I don't, I'm scared I'm gonna give myself, it's gonna make my hair greasy if I apply too much, but I think just kind of like dab it throughout the ends. Oh yeah, and it is kind of like blending in quite nicely. I'm someone that takes my conditioner quite high, especially around the back of my head, it gets quite dry. Ooh, it doesn't feel like a mousse at all. I don't really like mousses because I always find that my hair feels a bit like wet afterwards, but I feel like that's just instantly dried, which I guess is kind of the point of a leave-in dry conditioner, but I guess when you apply it, it's a bit nerve-wracking at first, but oh my goodness, I'm in love and that has given my hair such a gorgeous scent. Oh, I'm in love with that. Wow, that is a really, really exciting new innovation from batiste i think i'll be using these a lot especially on days when i know that my hair's like really really dry would have been amazing to take a mini version of this because as i mentioned i didn't bring any like heat protection spray or like oils and i definitely noticed that my hair was getting a little bit lackluster by the end of the holiday so it's really nice just to give it that little zhuzh and actually that might make me able to go back to curling my hair a little bit more because one of the big problems is i found the ends of my hair just got so dry they got like so tangled up and i just needed to like brush it through and add some moisture so i love the sounds of those and application was super easy so i will leave those linked down below a very very kind gift from batiste i i'm in love like honestly i'm just smelling my hair right now as i'm like moving and it is oh it's so fresh and so lovely Next, we have a very exciting delivery from Elemis. And you guys know I'm such a huge fan of Elemis. They are just one of my favorite skincare brands, especially since I kind of really started learning more about my skin, about what's like good for it, what I need to be using. Obviously, I've been getting my regular facials. I have really, really been prioritizing what I am putting on my skin. Oh my goodness, it looks like they've sent me a lot of videos. Let's get these out oh my goodness the first thing and i have not had this in a little while i ran out of this and i have been using ever since the liz earl cleanse and polish which i do love but i feel like nothing nothing compares to the pro collagen cleanser this is literally just one of my favorites it's the hydrating cleansing balm it cleanses hydrates and softens and i really really like a greasy cleanser like i know i've spoken about this before but i love a big i'm gonna open it up and show you a big balmy cleanser that just feels like it melts your makeup away also love that they come with these these are actually what i take on with me on holiday because they're not as like thick as a flannel but they're still really nice and soft it's so one thing i've tried lots of other different like makeup kind of um you know like cleansers and you know towels and things like that nothing compares to these ones so i love the fact that they always come in the cleanser this is just oh my word the most lovely it's like balmy thick greasy cleanser and i don't mean that in a bad way like i know when i say greasy cleanser that probably sounds gross 
it is not it is absolutely amazing i would definitely recommend it giving this a try if you haven't ever um next from the pro collagen actually this is all from the pro collagen range yes um we have a top up of my marine cream i love the marine cream this is the anti-wrinkle hydrating day cream um for fine lines and wrinkles firms smooths and hydrates this isn't the one with spf i don't believe um, I've been using the SPF 31, but I'm quite excited to try this just to see if there's any kind of like difference in consistency. But this is so, so good at moisturising without like clogging your pores or anything like that. That's one of the biggest things that my um, facialist said to me is that I really need to stop using products that are clogging up my pores. Because so I was using a lot of hydrating products and sometimes it can be quite tricky to get that balance between like hydrating but not clogging. Um, so this is a really, really good one at just giving your skin a big drink of water without clogging your pores, without being greasy, without being too like thick. So love that. We then have a new facial oil, which I've never tried. This is the Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil for fine lines and wrinkles and soothes nourishes and smooths. I'm very excited to try this. Um, let's see what it says on the back. Oh, do you know what? I think this is going to be perfect for, and do you know what? I do actually need to order a new one, but I broke my gua sha quite a long time ago. Like, I think before Christmas, and I've just never gotten around to ordering another one. And I feel like using facial tools like gua sha's and like rollers and things like that really does make a difference to like the puffiness in your skin. Um, and I've been looking for the perfect oil to use with it. And this sounds like it might just be, oh my goodness, look at that packaging. That is absolutely stunning. The like pinky tones. I feel like if I shake this up. Oh, it's like a really lovely clear oil inside. That looks absolutely gorgeous. And I've heard some really, really good things about the rose range within the Pro Collagen collection with Elemis. So many people say it's absolutely amazing. So I think I might just have to order myself a new Gua Sha because it does say um, to massage three to four drops over the face and neck. Um, and I think it might be amazing to like massage that in with a facial tool and just get back into that kind of like routine. Um, we then have the Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask anti-wrinkle rejuvenating eye mask brightens rejuvenates and hydrates i have never ever tried this before is it like a cream or is it going to be like um yeah it's just a cream it's not like eye patches Ooh, that is a lot thicker than i was expecting that's almost like a vaseline -y type consistency that's really really interesting i think i just need to try it a little bit on the back of my hand because that is so interesting. It's very like gel-like, which I like with my eye creams. That is gorgeous. Do you know what? That does actually almost feel, once you start rubbing it in, that feels very similar to my Clinique um, favourite eye, what's it called? Moisture Eye Surge, I think it is. Um, very excited to try that. I think that might be my overnight eye cream and then lastly honestly I feel like I've been so spoiled by Elemis we have the pro collagen rose hydro mist I am so excited about this I was really reminded whilst we were away how much I love facial mists I didn't bring one with me and it's just what I felt like I needed especially when you're on a plane you need that like rehydration I do find SPF like thick SPFs can dry my skin out quite a bit so it's really nice just to have something that you can spray over the top of your makeup obviously you don't have to take your makeup off and it just gives you like that boost of hydration so it's a super hydrating serum in mist and that sounds absolutely incredible. I might actually spray some now because my skin is still very dry from the flight. Oh my God, that smell. I feel like I've just absolutely doused myself in the most beautiful like floral scents. We've got blush and we've got rose and I am just smelling like like a spring garden now. I'm absolutely in love with it, but some lovely, lovely gifts to come back to. I feel like the sunshine did my skin so much good, but the food that we were eating there, not so much so it's really nice just to like get back into my skincare routine make sure that i'm doing everything that i can to look after it to kind of like prioritize it and just get it back to the best point that it could possibly be and you know how much i love my elemis products so i'll leave these all linked down below what lovely lovely gifts to come home to honestly though i cannot get over the difference between the gorgeous sunshine, the lovely weather, the beautiful temperatures, stunning scenery, and then the stark difference of this. <laughs> 
this is what I'm currently looking out onto. It is grey, it is miserable, and it is rainy. I am just not feeling it. Really, really not feeling it. I'm pretty sure this is the weather forecast that we have got for literally the next week, which makes me really sad because you know how affected I am by the weather. So I've decided I'm going to cheer myself up with some lovely flowers. I've just stuck them in a vase for now just so that they don't dehydrate. But I picked up some gorgeous little like roses and lilies. I'm not entirely sure what these ones are. But they're really, really pretty. But I literally just picked them up from Waitress when I did the, um, the food shop. And I thought it would be the perfect way just to brighten my day a little bit and add a little bit of spring joy into the house. that has done the trick of just perfectly brightening up the kitchen a little bit. I've just added them to the little marble tray, my H&M home tray, which I love. This has become my seasonal kitchen display tray. And it just means that anything I want, so it's like a little fern, a candle, a diffuser, anything goes on this tray. And I love how the roses look. I just think they're so beautiful. We've got some pinks and reds. I absolutely adore them. I've tried to make sure that they are as on display as possible. This one, this is like a real main character rose for me and I cannot wait for the lilies to come out in full bloom I need to take those stamens off before they stain anything um but yes it's a perfect way of adding a little injection into spring whilst the outside is not giving spring vibes good morning everyone it is the next day now I have just decided seeing as though it's another wet rainy and miserable day I'm gonna cheer myself up. I'm gonna put a little spring-like dress on. I've actually just put on this at one from River Island. It's a little bit old, actually. I think it's maybe two years old now. I love this dress. This is like a perfect transitional dress. I always bring this out early spring and late summer because it really is the perfect dress for when it's not too chilly. Like because of the rain, the temperature has risen a little bit um, because it is a little bit warmer with all of like the cloud cover and stuff like that. Um, and it's so perfect with like the tones, the fact that it's like fully covered, but it's a little bit flowy, a little bit cute. I really, really love this. So I've just put this on today just to kind of cheer me up a little bit, seeing as though we've got another wet, miserable a day today it really is not the week to get excited about spring because the weather is just not weathering I've also just put on a little necklace that I've not worn in ages this is a really cute little Pandora one and it matches my halo ring so perfectly and I love it when I've got like my matchy matchy stacking jewelry but despite the weather I'm actually in quite a good mood this morning which might be down to a new delivery that has just arrived. I won't lie, I am horrendous when I'm traveling. I love to online shop to fill the time. And ever since coming back from Gran Canera, I've really been in the like spring sunshine mindset. So I added a few pieces into my wardrobe that I feel like are gonna be the perfect transitional items. They're gonna be great for when the weather starts to get a little bit warmer and when the sun starts to shine. I kind of wish I had one of these dresses whilst I was away, because I think it would have been the perfect holiday dress for like how the weather was, the temperature it would have been so fab but I definitely think I'm still going to get a lot of use out of these dresses you guys know how much I adore Bowden as a brand they just do the most gorgeous spring summer dresses I absolutely love them I have a couple from last year that I wore non-stop you guys were probably so sick of seeing them and I'm not gonna lie these next few dresses you might start to get a little bit sick of seeing as well because I have a feeling I'm gonna get so much wear out of them now, if you were following me since last summer, you might remember that there were two Bowden dresses that I could not wear enough. Like, honestly, I wanted to reach for them every single day. I felt like the silhouette was just perfect. The fit, the cut, I absolutely loved them. I'll put the photos, actually, of them here. If you don't remember them, there was the little blue one, which was just gorgeous, and the, like, yellowy, really bright, orangey one. Oh, my word, I got so much wear out of them. So, you will not be surprised 
to see this beauty in this haul i picked up the new season version of that dress and i am so so in love with it i mean can we just take a minute to talk about this print it's like a really gorgeous it's got like a white background with this kind of like bluey purpley a bit of like maroon in there kind of paisley print and it is just absolutely gorgeous my favorite thing about these dresses is just like the cut the silhouette and the kind of like fit of them they are absolutely stunning they're shirt dresses but in the way that i like shirt dresses to be done whenever i search for shirt dresses shirt dresses on google it's really really hard to find very like feminine ones they usually come up a bit androgynous they look like you know like an oversized boxy boyfriend fit just with like a tie belt waist that's not really the style i like to go for i like to go for something that's a little bit more kind of like flattering a little bit more tailored and particularly something with a fit and flare skirt like i love a big midi skirt on my shirt dresses i just find that's the most flattering style on me personally and honestly, I can't even tell you how much wear I got out of these dresses. I feel like these are the epitome of like timeless classic dresses. They're not trend led. They're not fashionable in the sense of like really, really in this season. They're the kind of thing that are just going to last the test of time. They are never going to date. They are never going to go out of style. And I'm going to get so much wear out of this one as well. So be prepared to be sick of the sight of this dress because I think I'm going to wear it all throughout spring and summer. Oh my goodness me, Bowden have done it again. They've done it again and just created the most beautiful, timeless, classic dress I could ever, ever ask for. Like, honestly, I don't think I could design something better than this. It just takes all of the boxes. Love the kind of like fitted shirt detail of it. I go for a 12 in mine. I don't actually get mine in petite. I just go for the regular sizing. So I quite like the length on me. I think it's like mid axi length is beautiful because you just have like a little pop of shoe underneath. But if you wanted to, you could definitely go for the petite. I am five foot exactly for reference, but it's definitely not needed. I feel like the regular size is just so, so perfect. And I also quite like that there's like a little bit of room in the torso just to kind of pull out the shirt a bit. I think it just makes it really super flattering. But I love the way that the shirt's not too oversized. You could size up once or twice if you wanted to. Because of the cinched in waist, it's got quite a lot of room that you can kind of like play about with. Um, so yeah, it comes with its own belt, which really just allows for you to cinch in your waist and create this really gorgeous silhouette. And then the pleated skirt is just so stunning. Like the movement that it has in it is absolutely gorgeous. Now with these dresses, I do like to casual them down a bit. I like to roll the sleeves up. I like to kind of like do a couple of buttons undone and just like open up the collar. I mean, you could wear it a bit more preppy if you wanted to, but for me, I much prefer when they have that bit more of a relaxed vibe to them. Um, and I just popped on my little Vivaya pointed toe ballet flats. I think the whites really, really work all together. I can just pitch myself wearing this with so many different things. Like this would even work with like little trainers. My beiges, I think would be really cute. Obviously when we get into like the much warmer months, I wear them with sandals and slides and basket bags. These dresses are just so versatile. And this to me looks so much more expensive than it actually is. Like this looks quite Ralph Lauren-esque in the kind of like fit, the silhouette and the print. So it kind of looks like you can add an extra zero onto the end of this price tag, which is what I really, really love about Bowdoin. Like their prices are obviously a bit more luxury high street, but the silhouettes, the cuts, like the cost per wear I'm gonna get out of this is just phenomenal. So I can't gush about this dress any more. It really is just the most beautiful thing in the world. Now this is the dress that I kind of wish I could have taken away with me to Grand Canary. I wish I discovered this before my holiday because it's this absolutely stunning cotton dress. Now this is a really heavy cotton. Like it feels such high quality. It's so, so beautiful. And I think that's what's gonna kind of make it the perfect like summer holiday dress. You guys know I love a midi dress when it comes to spring and summer dresses. I love to be a little bit like covered, but something really light, really flowy, really wearable. And this, oh, I just fell in love with it. I have been on the hunt for like the perfect white dress for such a long time. And I feel like I may have finally found it. I love the fact that it's got this kind of like, um, is it called a priest's collar? I think this is called where it's not got the actual like cuffed collar. It's just kind of like got this like section. I really, really love that. Love the cinched in waist. It's so, so beautiful. I think it has pockets it does indeed that's one of my favorite thing about the Bowden dresses every time I wear them and people compliment me on my dress I do that thing that they say in like the meme where you're like thanks it has pockets it's like my favorite thing to say and I just love the fact that it's got this really cute little like kind of tiered skirt at the bottom I've spoken about this a lot but I do find adding a little bit of tearing to a skirt tearing is that the right word I know tiered is the word tiered adding a tiered detail 
I guess maybe it's the right phrase, but adding this kind of like layering to a skirt and this detailing really helps to elongate your body. So if you're a shorter girl like me, it's super, super flattering. I'm picturing this with all of my, my tan accessories, my mulberry bag, my little slides. I feel like there are so many ways that you can style this. So I just thought this was such a perfect little spring summer dress, the kind of thing again, it's not gonna date, it's not gonna go out of style. You're gonna be able to bring this out of your wardrobe every single year. And that is what I love in my new season dresses. Oh my goodness me. Oh, I literally cannot even get any higher pitched. This dress is just absolutely stunning. Everything I hope for in a white midi dress for summer and more and literally more. I wish I had this with me when we went to Grand Canary because this is just beautiful. I can't get over the structure on the sleeves. I didn't expect that when it first arrived because it's obviously just this kind of cotton material but it's got a little bit of structuring which I think is so beautiful. I really like a bit of structuring on a shoulder as a shorter girl because I do find it kind of like elevates my silhouette a little bit, elongates my body and makes me look taller than I am and the skirt detail obviously makes me look taller as well I've actually just paired it with some tan ballet flats I really really love how these look together and tan accessories with white cotton is just my favorite and of course it has pockets all of the dresses come with pockets which is just my favorite thing about Bowdoin designs they just have so many like little details that they think of which I love I mean just the silhouette of this the way that it like figure hugs you the collar the fact that it's like an open collar without being too open and this like ruched detailing just cinches you in so so beautifully again another dress I feel like looks so much more expensive than it actually is this is giving me kind of like Marge vibes which I think is so beautiful again I'm gonna get such amazing cosplay wear out of this. I hope you are ready to be sick to death of these dresses this spring summer because they are just all absolutely stunning. Okay, this last dress is a little bit of a wild card so I'm going to need your help in whether to keep or return this because I think it's beautiful but I'm just going to show it to you. It's this absolutely gorgeous number. Now there's so many design details that I absolutely love about this dress and what made me fall in love with it was particularly the sweetheart neckline. I love a sweetheart neckline. I love the puff shoulders. I love the fact that it's a midi. My only question is, does it look too much like your grandma's tablecloth? Like I'm not sure if it's kind of giving like cute tablecloth vibes or a bit like, mm, that's a bit much like it has come from your grandma's tablecloth. I'm not sure, but I really love the design details in it. It's got like kind of this patchwork vibe going on. We've got loads of different flowers. We've got some dahlias, poppies. Um, we've got, I think those are cosmos. Not entirely sure what those are, but they're just so cute. And I love the colors that are in it. You'll notice that I am actually opting to wear a bit more color at the moment. I really like something that's kind of got like a neutral base and then you can build the color and add the color from there. And especially with regards to my accessories, I've, I've realized recently that neutral accessories are just where my heart lies. And then it means I can get a little bit more experimental with the colors that I'm wearing in my outfits because everything's going to go together. So I thought this was a really cute option, but I'm gonna need your help in deciding whether it's like countryside grandmother chic or whether it's just your grandma's tablecloth. <laughs> so the wild card dress, what? Do we think of this? I have to admit, now that I've got it on, I kind of love it. I really, really love it. I feel like the length is just gorgeous. Like the print looks a lot less grandma-ish on. And obviously, you know, I love a sweetheart neckline, but my big concern with this is actually the fit. Um, so I got all of the dresses in a 12 and the other two fit absolutely perfectly. This one, if you have a look, we can definitely take in a lot more fabric. Like I'm holding quite a lot behind me. I feel like it looks just a little bit loose. It kind of looks like it skims my figure rather than hugs it, which I'm unsure if it's like the most flattering or at least I should size down to a 10 and just see how that kind of fits a little bit better. Um, but this kind of like silhouette I find so gorgeous. Love a sweetheart neckline on me. Love these like little puff sleeves. I think it's so, so flattering. And it's quite nice that I can wear a proper bra with this. Um, like I don't feel like I'm, you know, on show or anything like that. So yeah, it's a really, really gorgeous dress. My main concern is just whether I size down a size and look at seeing if a 10 is a little bit better on me. This is also the only dress that doesn't have pockets, which is a little bit of a shame. So I think the other two are 100% gonna be staying. This is the only kind of question mark that I have. As I'm looking in the mirror, I do think it's gorgeous. I'm just a little bit unsure. I feel like we need a Julius Caesar moment where it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Do I keep this? Do I return it? Help a girl out. I'm really, really undecided. Oh my goodness me. I have just spent the last hour 
in a meeting with my manager we normally try and have like weekly catch-up calls and meetings just to make sure we're all on top of everything but obviously with going away last week and then um i was actually really ill the week before if you remember i had my cold just before i went away um and we haven't been able to catch up we haven't been able to have a meeting for a good couple of weeks we've just spent the last hour on the phone chatting about everything everything we've achieved this year things that are going to be happening doing a bit of goal setting and like manifesting and i always feel so motivated and inspired after these phone calls because i just pinch myself every single day that this is my job like i honestly cannot believe my luck that i get to do this every single day and you guys are what has made it possible like even the big campaign shoot that i had on monday morning i mean i could have easily kind of been like oh i can't be bothered like i don't really want to do this um you know obviously i was not jet lagged but like travel lagged because we obviously got home so late we've been traveling all day and it's one of those things where I could have easily kind of gone down like a negative mindset of like, oh, I don't really want to do this. But instead I jumped up out of bed. Like I was so excited to get shooting and filming and just immerse myself into it. As I said, that's why I didn't film. because I just wanted to like focus fully on that. And I literally like both unironically and ironically sometimes sit and do the Devil Wears Prada, especially when times are tough. Like if I'm out shooting in minus degree weathers when I'm supposed to be shooting spring content. <laughs> and I do this with a lot of my friends where I just look at them and if ever they start moaning or we start, you know, things aren't as enjoyable. I just look at them and go, I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. And we do that with each other. And it's a bit of a thing that I have now. And sometimes, as I say, I do it ironically in the sense of like, you know, trying to perk ourselves up remember it's freezing cold you can't feel your fingers but you know what you love your job you love taking these photos but then other times i literally just sit there and go i love my job and i'm just feeling so blessed and so i don't even know what the word is but it was just such a lovely call with my manager being able to look at what we've already achieved this year like we're only in march and there's so much that i have to be proud of which is just absolutely insane i feel like all these years ago when i started this if i could look at where i am now i never would have imagined that i was able to create the opportunities that i have and i really do have you to thank every like that you leave on a post every comment every save every view it really does add to it and i just i hope it never goes unnoticed just how grateful i am for you so swapping moment over i'm going to carry on with the rest of the work that i've got to do today but me in such a good mood it's made me really really motivated so i'm going to channel that into getting a lot of work done let's go it's a little while later now i have just had a very productive afternoon catching up with some work bits and just getting ahead i feel like the week you come back from holiday no matter how much time you take off whether it's a week or literally it was like two working days that i technically took off but there's still lots to catch up on and get ahead and i'm going to be that very british person i feel like we've spoken about the weather so much in this video but can we just appreciate the fact that it is currently five o'clock and it is full daylight. Oh my goodness me. I don't think the sun is setting until about nearly six o'clock at the moment. It is so, so exciting. Even though it's been growing miserable, that really does show to me that spring is on its way. But I just had a new delivery of something that I ordered from Fairfax and Favour, which is one of my favorite brands. Let me put you down here so we can unbox this together. So you know how much I adore the brand. They have just the most gorgeous, like countryside aesthetic really really stunning pieces i've got a couple of coats from them a couple of like boots and things like that but if there's one thing that i oh my goodness i love the packaging if there's one thing i have never invested in from fairfax and baby yet it is their accessories and when i saw that these had dropped online i could not resist they come in two different colorways and they are just the most stunning belts i think i've ever ever seen can we just honestly talk about how luxurious this unboxing feels um it even comes in like a little dust bag i mean so so gorgeous so i picked oh my goodness i picked up this belt because i thought this would be the perfect summer accessory i feel like you know what i'm like with regards to my styling with regards to like the silhouettes and stuff that i like i really love a cinch it in waist and i feel like this is going to be the perfect waist belt for spring summer look at this how gorgeous is that we've got like the iconic fairfax and favor logo on there and then it ties around the back let's um see if i can get this on i got it in a small when i was looking at the sizes in terms of like you know uh small medium large the small was like my waist size now these could be waist belts but they could also be you know like hip belts for more like jeans oh my goodness that is so gorgeous oh i know it doesn't really go with this dress but that is perfect. Do you know what dress this would look perfect with actually? My Bowden one. I kind of want to put that back on. 
because I think that would be absolutely stunning. Like the colorways of this. I'm doing it. I'm putting the dress on. Oh my goodness me. I feel like I need to bring you down a bit so that you can actually see the beauty of this belt because this is just absolutely gorgeous. It goes with the dress so stunningly. I feel like with my mulberry bag, just like finish it off. <gasps> Look at this, look at this. Oh my word, I need to do this up. This is um, sitting there, undone, getting a little bit, oh my God. I love it, I absolutely love this. Okay, I've just styled it up fully so you can really get a good look at how it all kind of like pairs together. I am so, so in love with this. Obviously the mulberry bag and then my little tan pointed toe ballet flats. Oh, it just ties the whole look in together so beautifully. Obviously the belt that it came with is stunning, but I feel like this just really elevates it and makes it like a whole nother level. I love the detailing on the belt, the like Fairfax and Favour kind of like logoing. I just think it's so, so gorgeous. Love the thickness of it because as I said it can be worn as a waist belt like I have but I don't think it's too thin so like you can wear it with jeans and stuff um you could definitely get away with wearing it with trousers with jeans anything that you wanted to but I just love the way that it looks with this dress I think an all white dress would also be absolutely stunning with this but oh my word this is just absolutely gorgeous well, what a perfect addition into my spring summer accessories wardrobe. I mean, just how stunning is this? the detailing, the fit, like the thickness, it's just perfect. And as I said, they also have it in black. So I'll leave both links down below in case you're more of like a monochromatic girl, whether you like your darker colors in summer, or even if you like those like monochrome looks, like black belts with white dresses and like black accessories can be so, so cute for summer as well. So. This is me trying to convince myself not to buy it in black as well. Obviously, the tan was just calling my name. I'm so, so in love with how it looks in this dress. But I'm not going to lie to you. Seeing as though it's half five, I don't really want to put my other dress back on. I kind of just want to get into my comfies. I think it's going to be a bit of an evening on the sofa. I'm going to get started with dinner in a minute and just have a nice, cozy, chilled one. So I think I'm going to leave this vlog here because there's been a lot of newness to show you a lot of things I've been buying and adding into my wardrobe. But I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's new in if you got to the end of this vlog leave me the word belt down below so i always love knowing who gets to the end of the videos i always love seeing the ways that you can incorporate it into your comment and seeing it down below knowing that you got all the way to the end of my chatty rambly videos but i'm gonna leave it here i hope you have the loveliest evening and i will see you guys in my next one bye